Hey guys, thanks for watching today's video. If you want to see more from us, make sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Make sure to follow our social media accounts where we'll be posting more content related to this YouTube channel.
as we're entering here inside to the cave, it's actually starting to get more cool, more chilly, more cold, which makes sense because the sunlight doesn't reach far back here inside of the cave. But I found it interesting that the wind actually started to pick up as we entered. And with that was also starting to get more cold or chilled because of the darkness here inside the cave. here 
and you're in this wilderness not really sure what the right path is to come or go return to your original spot from the destination that you are headed towards you always look for these little orange pillars or if you're inside the national park on some of the trails on the treks they have orange circles or orange paint on the trees and that will lead you to the correct destination that you're trying to go We just arrived from our walk here to the second cave here in the caves of Milodon. And back here behind me, you can see it's a little bit of a smaller cave than the first grand cave that we saw. But there also used to be many extinct now species that lived here, such as the saber-toothed tiger, the Milodons, horses and foxes that are now extinct in this area. But they once lived here many, many years ago during the Ice Age time here in Pasadena. called the devil's chair not really sure why they call it that but hopefully we're about to find out
So we actually are having an amazing day. We're having an even better day than I had originally expected coming here. I knew it would be cool and I was excited to come here to visit the Milodone Caves, but there's actually a lot more than I had originally expected. It's a lot bigger. There are three different caves, a lot of walking, a lot of nature, even some rock climbing. There's two lookout points and those involve a little bit of hiking and rock climbing, which are really fun, adventurous. So you have a little bit of history here because of the animals and these ancient caves that have been here for a very long time and you learn about the extinct animals that used to live here in this area and inside these caves you also have some adventure you have some action some sports hiking walking and also the rock climbing so it's really fun and it makes a really nice day they opened at 8 30 this morning and they close at 5 p.m and it looks like we'll be here again once like we always do for the full day and there's a lot to do here so if you want to come here definitely plan a full day if you want to leave early that's great but i think you definitely can spend the whole day here just exploring and having fun and enjoying all this beautiful nature. We finally made it to the third and final cave here in the cave of Milodon. It's really cool for me personally because this is actually called the Panther Cave because this is where panthers used to live. They actually found remains of panthers and have proven that the panthers used to go out and hunt and bring their prey back here into the cave. So it's really cool for me at least to visualize the panthers many years ago living their daily lives here, going out to catch their prey and bringing them back here into this cave. just left the cave of Milodon and it was really really good. I would actually say today was a 10 out of 10 for me. I really enjoyed it even more than I had originally expected. I knew it would be you know fun and informative and history and that's really cool and interesting for me but uh, there was a lot of exploration and that was a huge plus which I love exploring and adventure. All those things were included in today's adventure in today's trip so one thing that i did find interesting I, it was completely empty pretty much there were a few people inside of the big cave or the grand cave and that's the most popular one i actually heard and read online before coming that most people just go to the grand cave it's only a five minute walk from the entrance and they walk around and then they leave so i could say that that rings true from what i saw today because i saw the most of the people there at the grand entrance and we were inside all day from morning at 8 30 in the morning when they opened to 5 p.m at night and uh, i only saw a few people in the grand cave and then when we were walking around it's actually very large and quite a long walk it took us all day to get to the other two caves and the two lookouts we didn't really see any we saw one little family like a small family of a uh, a son, a daughter, a mom, and a dad. We saw them at the devil's seat or the devil's uh, lookout, and that was it. Pretty much everything else, we had the whole place to ourselves, so that was kind of cool. I don't know if that's because of COVID or if that's normal. Probably a little bit of both. Probably not as many people go to the other caves or the lookouts uh, as I read online, and most people just go to that main grand cave. Uh, but I definitely, if you come, I recommend going and doing it all. Take the full day, arrive when they open, and leave when they close. It's really nice, a lot of nature, and it was very enjoyable. I really liked it, so I definitely recommend taking advantage of all the places you can do when you go inside. The ticket was $11 for a foreigner. Uh, it's cheaper, of course, if you're Chilean, but it was about 8,200 Chilean pesos with right now the conversion rate is $11. Uh, American US dollars for a foreigner and I think it was definitely worth it. $11 each, uh, $22 for the two of us for the full day, all the caves, the three caves, the two lookouts, the nature, the walking, the exploration, the adventure was awesome. So yeah, good day, good day. I'm happy that we did it and I can absolutely recommend coming here. 
I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up like button down below. And thanks so much for doing that in advance. Also, if you have any questions or comments, make sure you leave those down below in the comment section. If you have any suggestions for future videos that you'd like to see, leave those as well in a comment down below. I'll get to those as soon as I can. Don't forget to share this video on social media with friends.